removing my seat part one so this is me removing my seats from uh, from my 2003 gmc envoy that i will surely post later on or maybe i'll just keep it for my own uh, preference reference so with these seats there's two large bolts here i need an 18 millimeter wrench to remove it i got all these sizes 16 uh, 5 8 and 14 15 and then that's another one two and four so this will actually remain there it's part of the battery system and the electrical system the wiring and all that good stuff so this could actually stay uh this actually goes under the rug under the carpet so does not really get touched with you don't really have to mess with it but other than that put that back there i'm gonna take this off today throw it in the trash or probably put it in my backyard or something sit on it you know for a moment make us chair out of it but yeah that's the video and then so then you remove this part as well you got to remove it with like a little wet sure a screwdriver flathead something like that on that cool there it is <laughs> took some w40 a little hammer but usually i didn't Mostly I didn't need the hammer, just my hands. Thank God. A few moments later. This is the after effect of the seats being taken off of my 2003 GMC Envoy or Envoy. So yeah, I'm gonna have to clean up this whole carpet or just remove it take it off it's not that hard basically it's removed taken off the whole thing place a new one on there which is very fairly easy fairly fairly easy obviously remove these bolts here this one two three four five and then yeah so then all you would have to do is just get the cutouts right for this extension get the cutout you know, little cutouts here. One, two, three for the seats. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, which is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So yeah, and etc. I gotta remove these two seats as well. So the seats I'm placing on the envoy, which I call envoy with the E to envoy your life. Wait some class. So this is just a for now method because i'm placing in the new seats that i bought from the junkyard which is like 58 bucks which is not a bad deal because they're in very good condition i mean check that out man 58 bucks for some leather seats not bad at all not bad at all so yeah i gotta clean it up a little bit from here this happens when people go to the junkyards and they have like their hands have oil they're working on other parts so they're like moving stuff around and trying to get certain parts so that's what happened but yeah or it could have just been like that but either way they're semi-new so i'm placing them in here the battle is very simple so i'm gonna have to place this got some help from an angel remove this bolt again place that in there place the bolt over both of them and then now you have a middle seat belt so then here i will be missing the box that i didn't take from the truck over there which is fine i go pick it up today if i have some time then you have your wires here right here you won't tape this thing not too much where you'll be able to adapt and attach the other wire and you have your fuse box which is similar to that one over there but it's different because that one's for, this one's for the heater that's for like electrical wiring and all that good stuff and a whole bunch of the things that i do not know about mathematician wise but physical wise i mean just the basics you know like the adapters for the lights and all that and everything else in the battery and you name it but so i'm gonna have to get this in here 
I'm assuming this goes in here somewhere. This is placed in somewhere. Maybe there or here, because it has to latch onto that thing here. So that the seat's not like fully down, but you know, elevated enough for somebody to sit comfortably. Cool. Later. Hallelujah. But they're like brand new. So they're over there sitting down. There's the other one. That's how it looks. So they're technically pretty much new. I mean, I got it from the junkyard, so that's not bad at all. Better than these seats. Oh, yeah. Cool. So this is the finished work on my 2003 JMC Envoy, which I call Envoy to Envoy Your Life. Yeah, so they're pretty decent. I ended up getting catching good break, very good break. I don't even need Kit Kat, but you know I need to get a Kit Kat soon. Long story short, these ones took me a while. These ones took me some days, dude because I couldn't find the bolts, the wrench. It was it was a process, man. It was a process, but they're very, very nice. I actually got these at the junkyard. Boom, look at that. I didn't take off this carpet just because it's too much. This is the electrical system. So now this is the zoomed in. I'm gonna do the cut right there. Got my blade, super little small flathead. 